Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for contracting, on-site training, and code reviews. Now, a while back, I did an episode that was entitled, Why You Cannot Move From Const. And this raises the question of, would it be possible to completely disable moves from const? And in fact, that is possible. And if you followed along in our more recent episode where I discussed all of the different possible operator equal overloads that can exist, well, you might have seen that there was a solution in there. So say we have our struct s. And we're going to use it. So we've default constructed an object of type capital S, and now we want to move from it. And to do that, we're going to need to include the utility header. So we've just done a move of this object, and we had to include our utility header and set the appropriate standard for C++ 11 or greater. And now if we have this as a const object, then you should know, if you've watched the previous episodes, that this is actually silently reverted to a copy instead of a move. And to be fair, this object contains absolutely nothing, so there's really nothing to gain or to lose from this. But I just want to point out that it is in fact possible to disable the ability to move from a const. And unfortunately, to do that properly, we actually have to go through and explicitly default all of our special member functions first. So we have explicitly defaulted all of these special member functions. And I'm going to go and disable our dash w everything warning here because that's just been causing a little bit too much squigglies. But we still have this move from const that has silently reverted into a copy operation instead of a move. And we can address that by saying we want to explicitly delete a constructor that takes a const r value reference. And now we get actually a call to deleted constructor for s. This is exactly what we are hoping to get. And let's see if we can get the output from the compiler here. And there you can see it, call to deleted constructor for s. s has been explicitly marked deleted here with our const s our value reference version. And so that's, um, that's what we are hoping for. Now, is it worth the extra syntax overhead of having to actually explicitly default to the rest of these things? I would say not, but we can extend it to our move assignment also. So if we default construct s2, and then we say that we want s2 equal to the moved from value of s. Now this is compiling again, but we can also disable this by explicitly deleting the const r value reference assignment operator. And if s were not const, then this should compile again. And in fact, we see that it does. So there you go. This is how you can use, if you really want to, some overloads of your move constructor and assignment operator to explicitly disable the ability to move from const. But I would say I don't actually suggest doing this. Instead, I suggest relying on your tools. We've been talking a lot about tools in these videos. Make sure that you're running your tools and your tools can warn you when you're doing something like this that you should not be doing. And in fact, um, both Clang Tidy and CBP Check are getting very good at things around move, moving from const or trying to operate on an object that has been moved from. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.